when you think of Canada, you think of wide open spaces, beavers, oh, grow up. <laughs> uh, Mounties, grow up. Logs, grow up. I, I myself think of maple syrup on bacon, which is disgusting and not normal. I, it's disgusting. Keep that maple off the bacon. Put an egg on it. <laughs> Put it on the pancakes. Yes, on the pancakes. Not on the bacon. Stupid, stupid people. Anyway. <laughs> After tonight, however, when you think of Canada, you will think of our next act, the Toronto Typhoon himself. I don't know if he's from there. It's the only place in Canada I've heard of. Please, <laughs> welcome Mr Tony Law! <laughs> Good evening. Now, it's expensive to organize, but if you got the money and you got the time, organize yourself a fight between a black bear and a shark. <laughs> now, what you're gonna need is, to start out, is a shallow wading pool. Any old wading pool will do. But uh, I use one with aluminum sides, or aluminum, if you will. <laughs> then you fill it up with water, and then you introduce your shark. And I use a tiger shark. I don't know why they seem more bitey. <laughs> then you go into your house and you get your paints, and you come out and you paint him up to look like a salmon. <laughs> with you, that's the funnest part of the day. <laughs> we should do more dangerous art together, shouldn't we? Huh? <laughs> then you get your black bear, and I don't know why black bear, a grizzly would probably work just as well. And you introduce your black bear. Now the black bear, of course, he's a very noble, brave creature, isn't he? He sees that and he just goes, oh boy, that is a big salmon. I can't wait to eat that real fast. And you could have a black bear from any part of the world, I suppose, even a less sort of racist one. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily need to be a black bear that talks like that. You could, you could be a Russian bear. Look at my giant salmon. I can't wait to eat that. <laughs> it's so big and delicious looking. Or uh, you could have a Chinese bear, but I'm not going there. Anyway. <laughs> and he just sees it and he just goes straight in with that left paw, doesn't he? Big mistake, black bear. Ah! Pulls back a stump. <laughs> That's not gonna heal in a hurry. But like I said, brave, noble creature, and he thinks, I've got one good paw left. I'm going in. Second mistake, black bear. Ah, pulls back a stump. Now he's fucked, isn't he? <laughs> now he's got a black bear with no front paws. He's losing a lot of blood. But luckily, he spent some time in the Moscow State Circus so he can balance on his hind two feet. <laughs> and if there's a little kitty's bicycle around, he could probably just wheel around on that too. <laughs> He's not gonna have the glorious victory he was hoping for now. Now he's gotta, he's gotta like do little nips in the, in the shark's ass. Just little nips, little nips, little nips. And I wish there was an exciting way for that to finish, uh, but it takes about eight hours for the shark to bleed to death. <laughs> but it's results that count, am I right? And then you're stuck with a black bear with no front paws, for Christ's sakes. And you gotta walk him, haven't you? You can't just leave him in your flat, you're not cruel. <laughs> Well, then you think, well, how am I gonna walk old Stumpy? <laughs> well, you do what I did and buy yourself two skateboards and strap them to his front stumps. <laughs> and it's awkward at first when you're walking him as he pushes his front stumps around, you know? And at least where I live, you get all the guys teasing you on the building set, going, look at you, you fucking toilet. You got a black bear with skateboard front feet. Wow. <laughs> well, shut up, group of men shouting at lone man with bear. <laughs> I know what it's like to feel like a woman on her own. <laughs> Only but with a bear. <laughs> then you bump into a hoodie. Ooh, I'm all intimidated, hoodie, with your Staffordshire Bull Terrier. <laughs> I got a black bear with skateboard front feet, fucker. Get out of the way. <laughs> Incidentally, do you know that Germans only talk German when you're around? <laughs> they just make that shit up every time to piss you off. <laughs> It's not a real language at all. It's new. Uh, oh, here comes some English-speaking people. Okay, get ready, get ready. Here they come, here they come. What? Ich weiß ein Fuschen, fast ein Fuschen. Look how mad they are. <laughs> Actually, that's, I got their accent a bit wrong, because, like, if you go to Germany tomorrow, right, and don't tell them you're coming, and you get off the plane and you listen to them, they all talk like that. <laughs> They're like, all right, Hansel. All right, Gretchel. <laughs> Going to see football tonight? <laughs> Fucking right. <laughs> Going to see Bayern Munich play Kaiserslautern? 
should be a fucking doozy. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, actually. <laughs> in fact, if we all do that on the way out, like just in single file, and we just like five meters between each of us, right, and we all do Yorkshire accents naming German football clubs, and we walk past the same tramp, <laughs> that'll freak him the fuck out, wouldn't it? <laughs> FC Stuttgart, that's for you. <laughs> Borussia Mönchengladbach, catch it. <laughs> Hertha Berlin. <laughs> Schalke 4. No, I'm done now, definitely. <laughs> but I guess what I came here to tell you is how much I love Jesus. <laughs> I love Jesus. My Jesus can fly. <laughs> He just flies around and he's got really big fat sausage fingers. <laughs> he flies upside down to show off, it's so cute. And he pokes people with his big fat sausage hands and it doesn't hurt because he's got big fat Jesus sausage hands. <laughs> I love Jesus. <laughs> we all have our own Jesus, don't we? But I'm, and I'm sick of comedians are always making fun of Jesus these days. That is such an easy target. Why don't they make fun of Muhammad? Well, they don't, for good reason. <laughs> but let's have a go anyway. <laughs> hey, I bet if Muhammad had a bank card, I bet he'd use it like this. He's <laughs> 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 like 1,400 years ago. He'd have no idea how to use a bank machine. He was like some sort of squawking robot. <laughs> now, if there are any... <laughs> I just realized it's going on air. <laughs> I thought it was just a safe little end to the gig, you know. But if there's any Muslims offended by that, to be fair, you don't know which Muhammad I meant. <laughs> I drew nothing. You can't get inside my head. You can't protest my brain. I mean, there's nothing. I've got some sketches at home, but I'm not letting anyone see those. <laughs> no, it's all in there. In fact, look, look, I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> I'm thinking about A. Muhammad in a really negative way. <laughs> and then he tripped over the thing. <laughs> I met Muhammad Ali. No, I didn't. Lovely man. <laughs> Got Parkinson's, you know. Lay off. <laughs> I met this Muhammad. Johnny Muhammad. <laughs> anyway, folks, on that note, I'm gonna go move. You've been very lovely and you got a brilliant act to close the show. Thank you very much indeed. Good night.